Hi everyone, welcome back to another video, another edition of the Kendra G Reactions Men Edition. So, you know, I do reactions to male guests on the Kendra G show, some, something that people are not really doing. I want to react as a man to give my perspective on some of the male guests and what's been talked about, some of the points that are raised and open the floor for discussion. So we're going to start with this um, brother here today. I have not seen this video before. All my reactions are live. This is the first time I'm seeing it. So if this is the first time you're seeing this video, let's watch it together and let's see what we come up with. All right. So. Hello. Hey, good night, Kendra. I'm sorry about that. Are you not trying to be here? Of course, I'm trying to be here for the longest time. Where are you from? This... from? I'm in Philly. You're in Philly. Where are you from? You have an accent, I can tell. I'm Jamaican. Do you live in Philly or are you visiting? I live in Philly. Okay, what's your name, boo? My name is Andre. Andre? Andre. Andre. Yeah, Andre. yeah. How old are you, Andre? I'm 36 years old. 36, what you do for a living? So I'm a barber, slash tattoo artist, slash electrician. Hustler. You are giving me Stella got her groove back. Um, I, I'm, I'm full time Stella. now. Stella. I'm, I'm cutting here full time now. You're you know what? Shout out to the brother, you know. Um, I'm a tradesman myself. I, I run a construction company in the UK and I'm multi skilled as well. And um, yeah, big shout out to the brother. You know, it's really important that, you know, you have various skills on your belt, always developing new skills. Because, you know, as he said, he does barbering, he does, he does uh, tattooing, he's an electrician. Um, these things help to keep you in work. You know what I'm saying like, you know, if you work in any industry, just know that some certain times, sometimes sometimes in a year or certain phases and that are going through the world, certain things are, you know, can go down or can go quiet. And when you've got multiple trades and skills that you can tap into, there's always um, work there for you. There's always going to be money in your pocket. You know? So shout out to the brother for having his hands in many pots. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good one. Are here full time? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a barber full time. You're a barber full time. Um, yeah. Do you have any kids, Andre? Yeah, I got a son. How old is your son? 18 years old. 18. Have you ever been married? No, never been. Your son in America? No, he's back home. He's back home. Okay. Yeah. Um, Andre lives in Philly, 36. He's a barber, a tattoo artist, an electrician. But you're just a barber, you said? Yeah, I'm just cutting here for now. I'm just, I just stick to one task for now. She's okay. What's your zodiac sign? Do you believe in zodiac signs? No, not really. I'm a Gemini, though. Okay. Oh, you're a Gemini, but you don't answer. Okay. So Andre Philly, 36, one son that's 18, a barber, a tattoo artist, and an electrician. What kind of woman are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for somebody nice, you know, somebody that um, is going to respect me, somebody that's going to love and care about me the same way I'm going to do with her. And that's basically it, an honest person. Okay. So she had to, what's your deal breakers? Somebody that's going to cheat. Lie to me. Don't cheat or lie to Andre. Yeah, simple. It's just simple. Uh, you know what? Everybody says that. Everybody that comes on this show says, I don't like liars, cheaters. Like every woman definitely says that. Don't like liars. Don't want no liar, no cheater. But by definition, a liar is not going to tell you they're going to be a liar. So I know kind of it's just sort of like a default thing to say, but it makes me laugh because I'm like, well, a cheat is not going to say she's a cheater or a cheat is not going to say he's a cheater or a liar. You know what I'm saying so the fact that people say that I kind of feel like really so kind of pointless really saying it. But, you know, I think it just comes as a natural thing. Everybody wants that, obviously. But, you know, what I mean, you just can't you can never tell like and the person's never going to tell you. So it's kind of pointless. But let's keep it moving. Okay, does she got to look a certain way? Mm, not really, but you know she got to be a little bit cute. She ain't got to have no big butt, nor no big tits, nor nothing like that. Okay. Just take care of herself. Okay. Do she got to make a certain amount of money? No, nah, I'm not pressed about that. Okay, okay. Be... Can she have kids? Yes, yeah, she can have kids. Okay. Let's do the kids or Kim. 
We got to see your legs, Andre. Okay, hold on. Okay, we yeah. see you. Andre, when was your last relationship? I was in a relationship like over a year now. Over a year. You don't yeah. have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Like probably a month now. A month? Yeah. Okay. What are three flaws? Well, a month. Is that woman an option? Huh? Is that woman an option? Like, is she available to me? Is she somebody you're considering? What are you looking for? Are you looking for a girlfriend? I'm looking for a relationship, um, um, a serious relationship. Somebody okay. that's serious. So the woman you slept with a month ago, is she an option? When you say option, what do you mean? Like somebody yeah, that's for a serious relationship. No. Why not? Well, you know these girls, most of these girls in America is like they see you, they like you, and you know, you go out. Probably <laughs> I can already see these brothers gonna trigger Kendra look at her face. If he says he's like, you know these girls in America. <laughs> like Kendra's like an American girl. She's like uh, what? <laughs> All right, let's see what he says about these American girls. Yeah, one night stand. They ain't want nothing serious. Most of them don't want nothing serious. So, so why are you sleeping with girls that don't want nothing serious? Because I'm a guy and I have feelings. I eat salt. That's the Jamaican say. You eat salt, so you have nature. Do you have feelings or do you have physical feelings? Like you want to just get your stuff off? No, it's not. not, not oh, so like, you like her? Well, I liked her, but she she don't want nothing serious. So if she wanted something serious, she would be an option. It's all her, not you. Yeah, if she wanted something serious, but she's not serious. So I ain't got time to waste. Like, I'm getting oh, hold. Usually it's the opposite. Usually the ladies say the men don't want anything serious, but you're saying that the girl don't want anything serious. Okay. Yeah, maybe that was like 50 years ago, Kendra, but like today, I think like men and women, when it comes to those who are looking for serious relationships and those who are not, I think it's 50-50 personally. Um, there are a lot of women who who don't want serious relationships. Um, they don't want to be committed to somebody. They don't want to, um, they enjoy in their freedom um to sort of come and call as they please and do what they want and no man are gonna tell him nothing and stuff like that so um yeah i'm finding that it's not a man thing it's across the board there's loads of men i remember when i was dating i was looking for serious women and i found it very difficult to find women who are actually serious i'm saying so i get what the brother's saying um like well boy not serious it is what it is and you know, got feelings, got needs, etc., etc. Um, and he's keeping it moving, but at least he's he's on the show, so he's clearly is looking for something serious. I think he seems like a genuine guy. Right. Um, what are three flaws you have to work on, Andre? Who me? Uh, I ain't got much flaws. I would just say that I'm jealous of my woman. You're jealous of your woman? Yeah, kind of like jealous uh, in a certain sense, though, not. Give me an example of what you would be jealous. You're gonna have to explain that for the ladies. Okay. Wife. I see they got this thing over here about male best friend. I don't like that. Oh. Yeah, I'm not used to that. Okay. So I'm not, I, I don't like my girl telling me, oh, I'm going to have friend, um, lunch with my friend. And I'll be like, who your friend be? And be like, Dave or Steve. If he's, if he's gay, that's cool. Because I know he's harmless like a, sh a shirt without a sleeve. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that, I mean, yeah, I mean, that goes without saying. End of the day, women can say what they want, but women don't, would not like if their man was like, I'm going out with my best friend, such and such, Ebra or Veronica or whatever. Like, they're not going to like it. So a woman will be like, oh, no, it's just my friend. Even if she was gay as well, they're not going to like it. And my brother, don't be fooled by that whole, oh, he's gay, so he's safe. Do you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of gay guys, they buy. They they're they're still in, they're still interested in women in that sense. Like, don't be fooled in it. Like that gay thing that that don't mean nothing when it comes to the women. So yeah. You understand? So if he's if he's gay, that's okay. 
But if he's a straight dude like me, mm -mm. So you can have a gay best friend, ladies, but he has he has to be a gay guy. Yeah. You can't have a straight male best friend. No. Nah. Okay, that's not your feeling that. So that's one. So you consider that to be a flaw, though. Yeah, that's the only thing. I I get a little jealous at time over my woman because if you got feeling for somebody and stuff, you ain't want to see certain stuff be going on and like you know. But okay. other than that, I'm cool. Okay. And why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Because I'm a great guy. I'm gonna take care of her. I'm hardworking. I'm an honest person. Cause she have kids. Yeah. When this guy said he's from Jamaica. It sounds like he's born in Jamaica. He's got the accent. It sounds like he's born in Jamaica. I think he said. He's got a child in Jamaica who's like 18 years old. Uh, I think he's 36. So he obviously had a, had a son, I think a son like at, at 18. So he probably grew up in Jamaica. He probably came to America later on in life. So yeah, one thing I'll tell you now for Caribbean men, generally speaking, they are very hardworking men. They're not lazy. Um, they work hard. They work hard out of the home. They work hard in the home. So um most of the time when it comes to those sort of things, Caribbean men are good catch. And when it comes to those things. Yeah, she can have kids. Do you want I more kids? kids? Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Does she have to be in Philly? No, nah, she ain't got to be in Philly. All right, let's do it. This is Andre Philly, 36. He's a baker, a tattoo electrician. He has an 18 year old son in Jamaica. He's open to having more kids. He doesn't care about your money. Um, you don't have to have a big booty, he said either, right? No. Nah. All right, how could the woman reach out to you, Andre? Uh, my Instagram. My Instagram is, is dbone, D-B-O-N-E underscore music. I don't remember my Facebook. Spell it again. No, you can do Instagram. Well, you're on Facebook right now. So this would be tagged. But do so, you want to say your Instagram one more time? It's D. B O N E underscore music. Music. Do you rap or something or sing? No, when I was back home, I used to I used to do some like dance hall music. You used to do dance hall music? Yeah, when I was back home, like growing up, I used to, but since I, I came to America, I just leave it alone. For now, probably I'm gonna get back in the field. But for now, I'm just working. Do you wanna give us 20 seconds or no? 20 seconds. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Of what you used to do. Oh, okay. Me a gangster, me get girl regular, me get girl with my iPhone cellular, be a girl I watch me chew the ride me in a, a rich girl I say she would a mind the nigga, me a gangster, me get girl regular, me get girl with my iPhone cellular, be a girl I rush me chew the ride me in a, a rich man I say she would a mind the nigga, me have girl where you hate it dada, girl where bun weed and blaze the grabber, if my passport is straight and me die in a state and me would die in a day three and a so me, me go a town for go find a van and for find a new girl for come wind a janya, Shelly love me, me could a while like a wash, she all a scam people for mind my mother. <laughs> it's like, you know what, yeah, when Jamaicans, right, I'm half Jamaican, yeah, I've been saying this, but Jamaicans, man, anything, when, when it comes to music, yeah, and they, they just, they always just sound good, man. They just sound good, like the accent and everything. Once you put Jamaican on something, it just sounds good, you know what I'm saying? You know, so we got to the brother, man. I'm, I'm well, gonna get back to my music though, but for now I'm just, you know, grinding. Cause I wanna be independent. I wanna do my own stuff. I don't wanna go to the label or nothing like that, so. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, there you have it. Well, you keep us posted how it goes, Andre. Okay, thank you, Kenja. You know, the other time um, on Instagram, um, I um, you connect with me, but you wasn't hearing me and I wasn't hearing you. I think it was like a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, I always I watch it. Show. Like, that, every huh? night I watch your show. It's the oh. first I've seen you on Facebook, though. Okay, well, I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you. All right, bye, babe. All right, guys, that's the end of that one. So, yeah, that was interesting, brother. Yeah, it was a kind of decent. It's quite a quite decent, decent brother, it seems. I, I wish him the best and that. He seems quite genuine. Um caribbean guys to be honest it's just straightforward um no dilly dally and, and that sort of stuff do you know what i'm saying so yeah big up the brother um i enjoyed that one uh, i was nothing crazy in this one do you know what i'm saying nice to see that once in a while but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this one 
Um, look out for the next one coming soon. So until then, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.